is the DJI Mavic Mini beating itself up with its own props. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Ashton Droning On, and I've said this before, never buy a new product for at least three to six months after launch. And it's for good reason, because over time, products evolve. And although we're not gonna see a Mavic Mini 2 for a long time, there will be minor hardware revisions in products like the Mavic Mini, which are not necessarily announced or marketed, but these tiny changes evolve to fix bugs and issues reported by consumers. We've reported recently on Mavic Minis dropping out of the sky, largely because of its inability to cater for strong wind. But there does seem to now be another issue which relates to its props hitting the fuselage of the Mavic Mini. Just over a week ago, a user on the DJI bulletin board mentioned that he'd bought a Mavic Mini and it's brought a lot of fun to his life. And indeed, that's true. The Mavic Mini is brilliant and I guarantee it'll make you smile. By the way, I've got one on the way. But he has recently discovered that the props of the Mavic Mini that he bought have been hitting the body of the drone. And that, of course, is a concern. He comments in this post, which we've translated from Chinese, that he's tried changing the props, but that didn't make any difference. And therefore, that would suggest that it's not an issue here with warped props or a manufacturing issue with props. He's also included lots of photos which clearly show damage to the front of the drone, not to the back, which is caused by the impact with the props whilst it's flying. Now we must point out that the damage here looks incredibly minor to the body and also to the props but of course any damage to the drone is unwanted and indeed it could eventually lead to a failure of the prop if the damage is severe or if one day there is a major strike with the fuselage. So let's talk about why this might occur. Now the Mavic Mini only weighs 249 grams. Now the reason that that figure is so special is because DJI wanted to keep the drone's weight under the regulatory weight in most countries of 250 grams. However, with keeping it below that weight comes some compromise in the material quality, the flexibility of that material, and also of course the sturdiness of it. There are two reasons as to why this might be happening. Now when a drone flies, and if you're banking left and right, pitching forwards and backwards very sharply, the props will naturally flex a little bit like on takeoff in a fully manned jet. You'll notice on takeoff the wings flex quite a lot as it takes on the weight of the plane. Now obviously a, a Boeing 737 doesn't move as quickly as a drone does and therefore the flex is substantially more in a drone. As the drone ascends or descends, the props will flex slightly and that's probably, in my view, where the drones are impacting the fuselage because this will generally happen in sports mode, not in regular mode. This is the reason that not every Mavic Mini owner is reporting this issue because if you don't fly often in sports mode and if you don't fly the drone erratically, then you're not going to get any prop impact with the body. However, if you're the next Michael Schumacher of the drone world and you are flying that drone all over the place, banking left and right, pitching rapidly, then yes, you probably will notice these little marks on your drone because the props are flexing and hitting the fuselage. That's not to say that it should be happening at all, of course. Some users have speculated that it's because the arms are flexing of the drone itself. My opinion is that the flexing of the arms is not the issue here. So how do we solve this? Well, the first thing you need to do if you're experiencing this issue is raise a ticket with DJI because if they don't have a ticket, they've got nothing to track or escalate. So raise a ticket, even if it doesn't concern you or if you don't want it fixing, raise a ticket anyway because the more issues that are reported, they can start invoking their problem management process, which hopefully will get this fixed in the next hardware iteration. There are then two third party approaches which you can consider, but personally, I would only go with the first. By raising the height of the props, they're gonna be far less prone to hitting the body. And it's only gonna take a couple of millimeters additional clearance to make sure that it doesn't happen. And there is now a third party product which is linked in the video description and it costs virtually nothing, but it will save your props from striking the drone and also it will not invalidate your warranty. That is very important. You simply fit these to the top of your motors and it not only increases the height of the props, only very slightly, but it will also stop dirt and dust and also water from getting inside your brushless motors. So there is a kind of longevity factor here, which actually is a bonus. The next one is a 3D printed add-on, which you can download from Thingiverse. Now, I don't like this idea at all because it involves taking the arms of your drone apart and super gluing this reinforcement inside the arms. This is of course a solution for the theory that the arms are flexing. I don't buy this and I would not do this at all. 
This scenario really isn't ideal and I've raised it with DJI to get a response and as soon as I get one, I'll post it as a comment below and add it to the video description. Now, although this situation isn't great, it should not put you off buying a Mavic Mini because for what it is and for what it costs, it's a truly exceptional little drone. And in addition, as mentioned, this issue is only really going to occur if you're flying that drone erratically. Most people will not. DJI will of course solve this as well, as mentioned. If you're interested in buying a Mavic Mini, links to it are in the video description as well. It's a great little drone, and as this guy said, despite the issue, it still brings fun to his life. But in the meantime, if you've got this issue, comment below and let me know what your damage looks like. On the other hand, if you've never seen this, comment below as well. Give the video a thumbs up, share this video in the community so that we can give other people this tip on how to solve it, and also click subscribe if this content is useful. Thanks for watching.